so before life before Clavis uh, was something similar to this. Uh, you know, uh, we had, uh, I mean, there was a lot of data available. We were not getting it, and it was very manual intensive. It was not easy, right? Uh, again, three weeks in Clavis, so again, we, we're still learning. We're still doing a lot of things uh, which we were not able to do before. So one of the things we're tracking is on, we're tracking around 500 locations, right, of these four uh, e-tailers, uh, Walmart being uh, one, uh, the biggest one over there. So, and we are going to add more. Uh, what, what you could do is you could have uh, maybe some, uh, some e uh, uh, locations which represent, represent maybe uh, the whole stock uh, or, or significant portions of that, but we are tracking around 500. We are going to add more. Uh, well, let's talk about Walmart grocery. So, you know, one is about availability and distribution. Distribution is where, you know, what are the SKUs are available across the Walmart universe, and the availability is our priority SKUs that we want to track. We want to know what, what we're doing with them, what their availability is. So without, you know, Clavis, we didn't have this information. Literally, someone uh, had to go manually, the Walmart account manager, and if you think about 500 stores and Walmart, online grocery might be in 500 to 1,000 stores now, but they are going to go get into all of their locations. Stores are like close to 5,000 locations. So no one can, one person, you need an army of people without Clavis to go and, and do that. Uh, on the, uh, what's available? Availability, like I mentioned about Arnold, uh, Orweed, and Brownberry. So here is, you know, it's telling us, you know, a number of locations available, you know, where this SKU is. Like I said, so, uh, it doesn't have to be in all the locations because we have a regional, uh, Arnold is not uh, available across the US, it's only in the Northeast. So again, this gives us a snapshot in real time, I mean, however, you know, it's tracked 24 hours and so on, but, you know, relatively real time on figuring out what our uh, availability is. On out of stocks, for example, we knew that Entenmann's Little Bites uh, was having some manufacturing uh, production issues, uh, some shortages. You know, we had, uh, you know, the horrendous uh, thing in uh, Houston, and, you know, we have some uh, commercial bakeries around the area. So obviously things were affected, but we needed to, uh, because Entenmann's does really well online, it's one of our priority SKUs, but without this, without having this information real time, we would be more in a reactive stage. Uh, we'll be getting calls, and we were getting calls from, you know, the Amazons and, and PayPal's of the world to figure out, you know, why is this not available? Why is this out of stock? So this way we could, you know, manage it. We, we know and, and track it. So that's important. And I will talk about our, some of the key KPIs that we are uh, working on. Uh, on the priority SKUs, again, um, you know, this is where the, uh, if you look at the Walmart stores, we have, you know, I've just shown you four stores, what the availability of our priority SKUs is. Obviously, uh, you know, our goal is, uh, is much higher, but without this information available uh, like this, we would not be able to uh, track it, or we would be, but it would be, take a much uh, longer time. 